What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Beat 10. I'm back with more Fate Grand Order Lost Belt 5 1. I have to specify because, in case you don't know, they split Lost Belt 5 into two parts because this story was so grand that it just could not be contained in one part. And yet, I've already got people in my Discord telling me that it's pretty much the same schlock as ever, so it's not the link that's the issue, it's the fucking writers. Anyways. I'm not gonna worry about for that that for the time being. I've got Saint Courts to collect from a, from someone who made a stupid bet. So let's continue on. Before and after the dream. I don't look forward to this because it's story only, which means it's gonna be longer than shit. I also have to remember how to do Napoleon's voice. That'll be fun. I'm gonna have to remember that since Lost Belt 2. Yeah, got him. Guess that takes care of my side of things. All right, any of you guys needing cover fire, just say the word. <laughs> Me needing cover fire. That's the best joke I've heard all day. I've got things handled just fine on my end. Of course, I can't speak for a Professor Lightning over. Don't be ridiculous! Oh, yeah! Great! Then let's see what you've got. Ha! In my right hand, I wield. Hold on. What? I wield. Okay, sine wave. Okay. I thought that was supposed to be something else. Sine wave alternating current. In my left, square wave alternating current. And from my forehead, I send out pulse wave alternating current. I don't... What? <laughs> Their powers combined surpass even Thor's hammer, Mjolnir itself. Behold. Lightning and thunder descend. All things bow before me. I will say already, I like this premise just- well, not the premise, but this opener. Just because I really wish we could see more of the servants together. Because as I've said multiple times, I really don't give a shit about M.A.S.H. or the the main character. M.A.S.H. has some personality, but she's very one note. As in, she has not- she has basically lost her powers, died. Almost died in, like, the beginning. And, like, a bunch of other stuff, and she has not fundamentally changed at all. Like, at all. She is still a bland-ass character. Better than the MC, who's just a blank slate for the writers to do whatever the fuck they want with them. For all the people saying, oh, the MC's such a great character. Yeah, probably in, a, <laughs> probably in like, the adaptations where they have to give them a character and personality. Here, though, it's whatever the fuck, and then, even then, that doesn't matter, because it's like, oh, I don't like that option. I'm going to pick this one. Oh, I'm going to pretend you picked the other option. Well, then what the fuck did it matter? For me, the servants have always been the star of something like Fate Grand Order, not the Master or Kialda. This is the pinnacle of what I would call Fate Grand Order. All enemy data has vanished. That concludes this training session. Great work, everyone. Da Vinci's thrilled at having so much cannon, arrow, lightning, and ice combat data to pow pour over. Who the fuck used ice? Y'all did great. That goes for you too, senpai. We won. Victory is ours. <laughs> You know, may I may have once said I had no need for magical energy from the Age of Gods, but it seems I now owe you an apology for that statement, my fair lady. I mean, your majesty. Oh, I'm guessing Anastasia. Your elegant guidance helps my lightning to cra- what was that? To crackle with more power than ever. With this, there is no enemy in the world who can stand before my might. Well, that may be something of an exaggeration, but I assure you I do not exaggerate in the slightest when I say that your techniques are a sight to behold. 
We may come from very different times and civilizations, but I still hold you in the highest respect, your majesty. Oh no, it's Scotty. Okay. Is that so? Uh, I mean, I have no need for your flattery, Nikola Tesla. Indeed, you should not be so quick to praise anyone so highly. You are an acclaimed scholar and pioneer of the stars, are you not? Then it is in your nature to carve a path towards the future and uncover the secrets of mystics such as myself. Hang on a second. There we go. I forgot to turn my uh, fan back on downdraft. I was like, man, why is it so hot in here? Go ahead and brag as much as you like. Do not worry about spar sparing my feelings. <laughs> Hear that, Professor Lightning? You wound me, your majesty. I assure you when I say I hold you in the highest respect, I mean every word. Do you now? Very well then, very well, then tell me what do you make of divine spirits as a whole? Ah yes, well, that is a different story. Indeed, I still have a great many doubts about the very system encompassing divine spirits. Divine spirits are said to have come from the gods themselves, but they no longer have any control over nature. Indeed, unlike in the age of gods, even the thinnest, tiniest exertion of their authority nowadays is said to cause them to become a divine spirit and disappear. But if you ask me, I don't see why they should still have any authority at all, since the gods handed over control of this world to humanity long ago. Handed. That's an interesting way of putting it. Also, isn't this supposed to be a Napoleon fucking interlude? Why does this feel like it's being centered around Scotty? Oh, finally. Ha <laughs> ha! That's quite the impatient argument, Nikola Tesla. I can tell you've thought a lot about this subject. But how about we leave it at that for now and pick this up again some other time? I'm sure the goddess must be exhausted after fighting all day, even if it was only training. It might be way more advanced than Matiris, but all that... Mat Matir? Yeah, I don't fucking know. I don't speak French. But all that Midcraft enhancement still got to wear on her. Huh. You make a good point. I apologize for getting carried away. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I got to admit, though, I get why Tesla'd be all fired up. The goddess's magecraft really is a sight to behold. In fact, let me tell you to your face, Gayhawk Scotty. You're really something else. Y very well, that is all for today's training, yes? Then I think I will go on ahead. Until next time. I guess you're the one who got shot down this time. Guess so. Unfortunately, it seems the goddess of Scandinavia is just as formidable as old General Winter. Albeit in a different way. You good, big guy? Hmm? Not quite. I might have to ask for some of your time later, Matier. I'm gonna assume that means master, but in French. Oh, hi, Uncle. Good day, Uncle Napoleon. Are you all done playing with master in the simulator? Oh, that sounds like fun. We wish we could have played too. I'll say, no fair, I'm jealous. All right, enough with the poking. I was just training with some of my fellow archers. But Scotty's not an archer. She's a cat. Oh, okay. Oh, the goddess from Scandinavia was there too. Oh, okay, there you go. I don't know if she's the divine spirit or a real god or what, but she sure knows how to fight. Neat. Scotty is the goddess of snow and the king of a vanished lost belt. Both her magical energy and her magecraft really are extraordinary, aren't they? Oh, good day, your majesty. We were just talking about you. Well now, if it isn't the heroic spirits of humanity who look like children. I know you're excited to play, but you really mustn't run and shout in the halls. Well, if it isn't the goddess of Scandinavia. Can't say it's been a particularly long time. 
Indeed. Well, good day. Huh? Well, she's clearly avoiding you. Did you say something inappropriate? Inappropriate. Oh, me? Nah. I'm sure I haven't done anything that might have upset her. Although she did seem to be avoiding me, didn't she? Definitely. 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 You all think so too, huh? Hey, there you are. You're just the goddess I've been looking for. Oh, hello. So, hey, um, I've been doing my best to be sensitive and careful and stuff, but, uh, maybe I still did or said something that upset you, something inappropriate. Anyway, I figured whatever it was, you might not want to talk about it in front of the kids, so I figured this would be a better time for you to speak your mind. It is nothing. You did nothing wrong whatsoever, Emperor Bonaparte. Nor is there any need for you to worry about me or to spare my feelings. All you need to do is live your life as you see fit. That being said... Yeah? No, never mind. There is nothing more to discuss. Good day, Emperor Bonaparte. Hmm. So the goddess ain't talking, huh? <laughs> Looks like this is going to be a difficult campaign. But before I commence the operation, I better make sure I'm ready for anything. Yeah? Who is it? You're not the pizza I ordered. Wait a minute. I just thought about something. Did Sion, like, I forget, did she say she remade basically Kialda in the Wandering Sea? I can't remember. Because that's the only way we would still be, we would still have all this. Because I was just thinking about that. It's like, this is clearly after the Lost Belts, but Kiata should be lost. I know they said they made improvements to the Wandering Sea to be more like Kiata, but I don't remember her saying she basically rebuilt, like, the fucking cafeteria and everything else. But maybe she did. Matre? I... Maybe that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Hey there, Matre. I wanted to talk to you about... Actually, it looks like you've already got a pretty good idea. I take it's about Scotty. You know it. At first, I thought I'd done something here to upset her, but it looks like that's not the case. So I figured that just leaves one other possibility. I know there's a report and video and stuff. Holmes pulled me aside and told me about it right after I got summoned. I take it it's all true, then? I mean, yes? That's what I heard. Of Course, I don't know any of the details since I never took a look at the report or video myself. You think that makes me a cold-hearted bastard, Matre? Uh, no, maybe? Alright, I should probably just tell you what I've been thinking recently. First off, let's make sure we're all on the same page. Heroic spirits don't retain any memories or records of their past summons. They basically show up fresh each, fresh each time, except for when they don't. They may have extremely similar personalities to their other incarnations, but they're still different people, except when they are. Of course, like any rule, there are some exceptions. A few hero experts, hero experts have been known to keep their memories between summons whether they want to or not. Otherwise known as, we want this specifically so we can write this for a particular reason. But I'm not one of them. Me? 
I'm the sort of heroic spirit who puts his heart and soul in, into each individual materialization. I don't think that's how that works. I show up as a ray of pure possibility and throw myself at the problem at hand with everything I've got. As a result, I always end up literally burning myself out before I even get to the point of inscribing my accomplishments on the throne. That's not how that works either. I keep going until I don't have anything left. That's just the kind of guy I am. Which is why I'm not usually in the habit of picking things up where I left off. I guess what I'm trying to say is, well... You're not interested in hearing what happened to Scan in Scandinavia. Right, but that only applies as long as I'm the only one affected. And since Scotty was also involved in Scandinavia... I mean, should we also bring in Sigurd, Bryn, the Valkyries? Who else was there? Setanai, even though she did fuck all. Um... Who else was involved? Um... <laughs> I'm literally struggling to remember. Uh... No, was that it? I'm not gonna count Surtur, he's not a servant. Sigurd, Bryn, the Valkyries. Yeah, no, I guess that would be it. Who did we summon for that mission? Well, I guess technically we summoned Napoleon. Or he found us, but whatever. And then we made allies with Bren. And we got Sigurd as an ally. Holmes was there. Yeah, no, I guess that's it. Okay. Exactly, Matre. Exactly. I consider myself here and myself in Scandinavia to be completely different people, so I wasn't originally planning to ask what the other me did there. But if that means never knowing why Scotty always looks so sad whenever she sees me, then to hell with it. I see now that I should have never just assumed my other self did everything he could there and left it at that. So, on that note... I'm here to ask you for a favor, Matre. Tell me what happened in the Scandinavian Lost Belt. Tell me what it is you saw there. I mean, it's not like we're dealing with uh, Ophelia. Was it Ophelia? Was that her name? I literally don't remember. Yeah, I think it was, because I remember having to yell that a shit ton as Surtur. Pretty sure. That's probably a bad sign I can't remember their names. Pro but she's been dead since the Scandinavian Lost Belt, so I haven't also had to remember her name. Tell me what it is I did there. Please, I need to know. I know you're a busy guy and I'm sorry to impose, but I'm still asking you to see set aside this evening for me. In exchange, I promise I'll make it worth your while. I swear on my honor as Napoleon Bonaparte. No, wait! I swear on the rainbow emblazoned across the sky. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, master. Please be over. <sighs> Ophelia, huh? Weird. I was sure I don't carry over any memories from one summon to the next. Except for when you do. But there's something about that name that makes me feel like my heart's going to tear itself apart. I hope I'm not insulting both her and Josephine when I say that both their names inspire similar feelings in me. Ophelia. You good, big guy? Oh, sure, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. All that aside, <laughs> I had no idea you were already a soldier in my grand armée. And you're saying I even awarded you a medal? Damn, you must have really impressed me. Yeah, now I see it. Turns out there was something I had to do here all along. Private Vane. 
I need your help. Consider this an order from your commanding officer. Please be over. Thank you, God. Cool. Alright, let's begin. Let's begin with our lives at stake. Watch your step, you two. I like marching through the woods at night as much as the next guy, but there's no denying it majorly slows you down. Then again, it's probably no big deal for you, huh? I'm guessing a goddess like yourself can just take to the skies if the walking gets too rough. Well, my honorable Grand Armee might not be able to fly, but we can still get around on land just fine. In fact, it's all about the ground game for us. The more land we cover on foot, the more light we bring to every corner of the continent. Master. I am aware that the simulator is capable of, well, simulating any number of situations. But what situation would possibly call for only two servants? It seems as though... There's nothing strange about it. We're just simulating a scenario where we've suffered some losses and have to make do with reduced numbers. Goddess? I was speaking to Master just now, not you. Oh, right. Sorry about that. See, this is what I talked about in, like, decision-making. It's like, what does it matter? This is both basically the same fucking answer. What does it matter how I answer it? Why even giving me the option to answer it at all? You know you can have a blank slate character and still have them have a personality, right? Extra and Triple C did that just fine, as I've harped on numerous times. Is that true? Something wrong? You sound awfully suspicious. I... And you're right to be. Sorry for tricking you. I would have been fine talking to you at Kiata Base, but you would have just kept running away, wouldn't you? You... Do you mean to tell me you dragged Master into this just so you could talk to me? Damn straight I did. No way a conversation like this is happening without Matre around. Frankly, Scotty, former king of the Scandinavian Lost Belt, I think we're overdue for a real heart-to-heart. -heart. Sorry, my head was itchy. I don't know all that much about you, but it looks like you can't say the same about me. So tell me, what was I like when you met me before? I'm guessing I probably wasn't a shy and retiring type, was I? No, you were not. Indeed, you are much the same then as you are now, artilleryman. Artilleryman? Oh ho ho, so that's your nickname for me, huh? Got to say, it fits like a glove. Surely you jest. Nope! I'm deadly serious. See? Huh? Uh, I'm sorry, Senpai. I made sure to turn off enemy encounters before you went in. But then one of Da Vinci's automated scripts turned them back on. And if that wasn't bad enough, this unusual situation ended up setting the difficulty level to ultra hard. You're about to encounter some very powerful enemies. Welp. D'accord. All right. I know this is short notice, but would you mind helping a little old French artilleryman out? Hm. Huh. Very well. But you shall owe me one for this. Must we, mademoiselle? All right, then. Shall we? Grand Armée! Move out! I'm so glad he just uses bare, basic French that I can understand. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.